Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Dynamite like video. And today is another episode of Jazzy June. And today we are playing another VR game known as Pavlok Shack. Uh, so, uh, I think if I remember correctly, uh, Pavlok Shack is coming to the official Oculus Quest store soon. Uh, but for now, it's only available on side quest uh, that I know of, and that's where I'm going to be playing it. So, Pavlov is a first-person shooter for the quest, to put it simply. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, so, uh, we have all these. We're in uh, 1.16, so, whew, okay. There's some stuff here. Okay, so uh, 1.16 test video. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make it creative uh, with the difficulty normal. Yeah, sure. Uh, no data packs. I don't have any data packs. Game rules. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna like play around with any of these right now because it doesn't really matter. But uh, hmm. Let's see what's in the bonus chest. Oh, no, I don't want to import settings. Okay. Uh, let's get a seed, 1.16, that'll be our seed. It's probably like a really common seed that people try out. I wonder if it'll be cool. You know, folks, you gotta stay hydrated, which is why I have an entire bottle of water here. That was a lot of water I just drank. Stay hydrated. Okay, I'm here, and I'm immediately faced with a block of dirt. That's great. Oh, and broken terrain generation. I like that. Uh, so let's see what's in the bonus chest pretty standard stuff. So I haven't read the patch notes uh, for this update and the game is actually quite laggy. I wonder why uh, what if, Okay, I see I see why it's laggy uh, Oh, there you are. It's kind of cleared up. Uh, we got a flower forest over here. That's kind of cool I can see why it's lagging though Hmm, alright, let me find the patch notes. Uh, Minecraft 1.16 patch notes. Uh, as for in the meantime, let's take a look at some of the new bricks, or blocks, sorry, not bricks. Uh, so we have blackstone. Uh, so there's gilded blackstone, which I assume is how you get blackstone things. Uh, let me check. If I go to get a pickaxe, let's just grab a diamond pickaxe for now. And do he mode survival. Let's mine this up. What do you get? You get gilded blackstone. Well, he, what do you do with gilded blackstone? How, how does this work? I, I don't get it. What do you use the gilded blackstone for? Okay, well, let me go back to creative. I keep hitting caps lock instead of tab. Okay, uh, let me grab a crafting table. And now we'll see. Why is it? A recipe book is useless. Uh, so, uh, let me check the Java patch notes. So, uh, features, there's the basalt deltas biome and the crimson forest biome in the nether. Uh, so let's, let's go there, actually. Let's go to the nether. Clear my inventory. Uh, obsidian. I wonder, what's crying obsidian for? Obtain crying obsidian. How do you get that? Seriously, how, how, how do you get that? Um, it's it's gonna be a while until we understand like a lot of this stuff. Uh, but flint and steel. I mean, there are probably some people who've already figured out how literally everything works. But for now, I'm not one of those people. And now we got a portal, and let's go in to the Nether. So I got the we need to go deeper advancement. I think. I think you can probably just use a lot of the, um, the, uh, uh, advancements in the nether to figure out a lot of the new stuff. Uh, so here we have some nether gold ore. So I assume you need to smelt this in a furnace to, um, get netherite stuff, or to, not to get netherite, but, uh, in order to get the gold, which you can use to craft netherite stuff. Uh... So, it'd help if I wasn't in a nether cave here. Oh, I could have just flown up here. Okay, so we got the zombie, I think they're zombie piglins. Yeah, zom zombified piglins. I mean, they want to do anything to me because I'm creative. Uh, I mean, overall, doesn't look like, never mind. <laughs> Other than this, doesn't look like much has changed. What is this? Basalt. Uh, what is basalt? 
Okay, I see. So basalt is formed when lava flows over soul soil next to blue ice. Does that mean there's blue ice somewhere around here? And more basalt. What does mining basalt in survival mode do? Uh, let me just grab some diamond gear really quickly, uh, and I'll uh, I'll figure out how stuff works here. So uh, let's go into survival. Uh, game mode revival. Let's see what happens when you mine basalt. Okay, you get the basalt. Okay, <laughs> pretty self-explanatory, I guess. Uh, okay, well, uh, it's kind of anticlimactic. But uh, so let's go back into creative. Uh, so. Let's grab some lava here. Lava and blue ice. Because it says if you pour lava onto soul soil next to blue ice, it'll form basalt. Oh, hi, Mr. Gas. So is this here soul soil? Yeah, this is soul soil. So if I put soul soil here, or maybe I have to put the soul soil up here and the blue ice up here too. I, I don't know how basalt is formed, but I mean... You could probably figure it out. Um, so let's check what biome we're in right now. We are in the uh, Soul Sand Valley. If we go over here, uh, we're in the Nether Wastes, which I assume is just like a generic biome. Uh, so let's see, what else did they add? Uh, he added uh, Hoglands, Netherite Piglins, Ruined Portals. Uh, okay. Soul Sand Valley, Striders, Warped Forest, Zoglins, uh, New Commands, Bastion Remin Remnants, okay, Game Mode, Switcher, Debug Menu, uh, okay, New Nether Blocks, Soul Speed, Lodestone, Respawn Anchor, set your, your respawn point in the Nether, ooh, I like that. Uh, so you can use a respawn anchor to do that. The target block, base salt is formed when lava flows over soul soil next to blue ice. Okay. Uh, bell blocks now ring when hit with a projectile. Bells can be hung from the underside of more blocks. Compasses can now be enchanted with Curse of Vanishing. Enderman, Enderman. Uh, entities will get pushed. Farmer villagers can compost feed, uh, seeds. Uh, fish now despawn. When further than 64 blocks away from the closest player, huge fungi will only grow in its matching type of nylium. Knockback resistance is now scale. Lily pads are now considered junk fishing loot rather than treasure. Okay. Patrols can no longer spawn when the player is close to a village. TNT and campfires do not ignite when hit by any burning projectile. Ooh. General statistics list. Updated logos. Villagers can spawn iron golems. Uh, regardless of some things. Walls do not have gaps anymore when stacked vertically. Walls will now connect to even more things such as iron bars, panes, pressure plates, banners, and even pickles. Okay. Uh, and the, when a villager is struck by lightning, the witch it is converted to will no longer despawn. When fishing, treasure can only be obtained by fishing in open waters, whatever that means. And they added accessibility, some advancements. Uh, they changed some advancements. They added new advancements, basalt deltas. So remnants of volcanic eruptions, this biome sorts a high concentration of basalt columns and lava deltas. Uh, you're, when walking through it, you're surrounded by flowing flakes of white ash, magma cubes spawn very frequently here, and blackstone can be found in large patches. Bastion remnants, uh, which is, uh, it seems to be a structure of sorts. Bees now have a change, block renames, new blocks uh all right everybody we're gonna end off here but before uh i roll the outro i'm just going to uh play the rest of the footage that i i didn't show in this video because then it'd be like a 20 minute video uh it's gonna be cut down to about two minutes i think maybe maybe five no probably about two uh but once that plays the outro will play uh thank you so much for watching everyone and uh i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>
Alright everybody, so I think we're gonna end off here. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button, it really helps me out. And if you want to help me out even more, please subscribe. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want to be notified every time I upload a YouTube video, uh, which is daily by the way, hit the notification bell, you will be notified every day. Uh, and uh, if you have any feedback, uh, comment on my video, please. Thank you. Uh, so once again, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be notified every day. And yeah, thank you so much for watching once again. Thank you so very much to all, all my Patreons who support me and my content, uh, whose names are up on the screen right now. Uh, if you would like to uh, help me out uh, and donate to me on Patreon, the link will be in the description. Uh, you don't need to donate, of course. Uh, and uh, your name will be added to the list here, along with the other benefits depending on uh, what tier you have. Uh, so thank you once again to all my Patreons. Uh, enjoy the T-Pose, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.